Hey designers, today I'm going to show you how to create a smooth camera transition in After Effects. Without wasting any time, let's get started. First, I'm using a single picture for this effect. Here's the image I'll be working with, it's quite large. Let's import it by dragging and dropping it onto the timeline. To fit this image to the composition size, select the layer and press Ctrl plus Alt plus F on your keyboard. This will snap the image to the composition size. Let's adjust the scale a bit. I'll set the scale to 36. That looks good. Next, with the layer still selected, go to Effects and Presets and search for CC Lens. Apply this effect to the layer. Set the size to its maximum value of 500. This will give a nice curve to the image. For the convergence, set it to 100. Now, let's animate the camera movement. First, we need to adjust the scale slightly. I'll set it to 34. This looks better. Next, we need to create a new camera layer. Go to Layer New Camera. Ensure that this layer is set to 3D. Now, let's create a new null object to control the camera. Go to Layer New Null Object. Parent the camera layer to this null object and make sure the null object is also set to 3D. Select the null layer, then press P for position and Shift plus R for rotation. We're going to animate both position and rotation. Click the stopwatch icon next to position, X rotation, and Y rotation to create keyframes. To animate the camera, move the timeline indicator forward by 30 frames for 20 frames. Now you can adjust the position and rotation at this new keyframe to create the desired camera movement. Let's adjust the Z rotation, along with the X and Y rotations. Adjust the X and Y positions as well, since we want the first frame to be a close-up of the newspaper text. Take your time to find the best angles. Once you're satisfied with these adjustments, we won't animate the X and Y rotations right now, so let's add a blank keyframe here. Select all of the keyframes and press F9 to apply Easy Ease. Then, go to the Graph Editor and adjust the graph to match the desired motion. Once that's done, let's move the timeline indicator to the last keyframe, specifically, the second keyframe. Instead of continuing with the same null object, we'll create a new null object to manage this next movement. Ensure that this new null, let's call it null2, is set to 3D. Now, parent null1, the first null, to null2. This way, you'll have all the same controls. Select null2 and press P for position and Shift plus R for rotation. Click the stopwatch next to position, X rotation, and Y rotation to create keyframes. Now, move the timeline indicator forward by about 30 frames. To do this quickly, press Ctrl plus Shift plus right arrow three times. At this point, we want to make the camera move downwards. Adjust the X, Y, and Z positions to frame the areas you want to showcase in the scene. Make sure to position the camera so that the elements you want to highlight come into view. Now let's give the camera a slight tilt. Start by adjusting the X rotation value a bit to create that tilt effect. After changing the X rotation, you'll also need to adjust the position values to achieve the desired look.
For the Y rotation, add a blank keyframe here. Once you've made these adjustments, select all the keyframes and press F9 to apply Easy Ease. Then, head to the graph editor and adjust the graph as shown. Now, move the timeline indicator to just before the second keyframe of null 2 ends, a few frames back. Here, we'll create a new null object. Make sure to set this new null to 3D. Now, parent null 2 to null 3. Select null 3 and press P for position and shift plus R for rotation. Click the stopwatch next to position, X rotation, and Y rotation to create keyframes for these properties. Move the timeline indicator forward by 30 frames. Let's adjust the camera position to move towards the top right. Change the position values accordingly. To straighten the camera, adjust the X rotation back to minus 10, since we initially set it to plus 10. Now, adjust the X, Y, and Z positions to focus on the technology news area at the top. Finally, add a blank keyframe for the Y rotation as well to complete this adjustment. Once you're happy with the results of this camera position, select all the keyframes and press F9 to apply Easy Ease. Then, go to the graph editor and adjust the graph as shown here. Now, let's create a new null object for the next camera movement. Make sure to set this new null to 3D. Parent null 3 to null 4. With null 4 selected, press P for position and shift plus R for rotation. Click the stopwatch next to position, X rotation, and Y rotation to create keyframes for these properties. Move the timeline indicator forward by 30 frames. This time, we want the camera to move downward and to the right to bring the economy news section into focus. Adjust the position values accordingly. Once you're satisfied with the camera's movement, you can adjust the X rotation value slightly, as well as the Y rotation if desired. After that, select all the keyframes again and press F9 to ease them. Go to the graph editor and adjust the graph to reflect the desired motion. For the final movement, let's create another new null object. Right-click, select New, and then choose Null Object. Set this new null to 3D and parent null 4 to null 5. With null 5 selected, press P for position and shift plus R for rotation. Click the stopwatch next to position, X rotation, and Y rotation to create keyframes for these properties. Now, move the timeline indicator forward by 30 frames again and adjust the position to bring the full newspaper into view.
Once you're happy with how it looks, select all the keyframes and press F9 to ease them again. Go to the graph editor and make the final adjustments to the graph. Now, move the timeline indicator a few frames forward to mark the end of the composition. Press N to trim the work area at this point. Let's preview the entire animation we've created. Select all the layers and enable motion blur. This will add a nice smooth effect to the animation. Now, preview the animation one last time to see how everything flows together. And that's it. You're done. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Ace Designs for more tutorials like this.